Um, it isn't actually up to us what ends up getting seen because we're beholden to our distributors. So actually lawyers can shut down and censor, gravely censor films by filmmakers like me, and they do all the time. Um, so I just want to say, you know, our films would look differently if we were just answering to ourselves and what we felt comfortable doing. Um, it might be different, you know, with narrative directors with more clout or more independence, but, you know, even, you know, indie doc, you know, I can't, I can't broadcast my things myself, and therefore it has to be within the comfort levels of corporations, which you know is a different bar than, you know, my, than the comfort level of, of people with, God, I was going to say, um, other people. Um. <laughs> so, Amy, I, I know this is a sensitive subject, and, and, and it's a very public forum, but is there an example you can, you can give us that, that you'd be comfortable talking about where something that you would have liked to have been able to include in one of your films you were not able to? Yeah, uh, not to keep, not if I want to keep working, um, <laughs> but just all of our films. I mean, it's like it's like I lost a summer to like battling with an extremely powerful distributor over a film that was unimpeachable, absolutely unimpeachable, um, because of uh, honestly, you know, um, irrational biases and misogyny. Um, so, you know, there you go.